Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to go over questions 31 to 34 of section 3 of the Pink Booklet. This is a question about the blood circulation of a fetus. Um, so I've drawn out the um, particular diagram that we've been given here. It's quite a complicated one, but I've just made a couple of changes to it. Um, so in the original diagram, they use italic numbers and numbers in bold. Um, I've replaced the bold numbers to be in red and the italics are now in green. So the red numbers represent the percentage of the combined output of the two ventricles, or the CVO, uh, which is the combined ventricular output. And then the green numbers represent the oxygen saturation of the blood at that point. Um, and of course some values are missing, but we can go over that a little bit later. Um, they've pointed out five um, different points here, and these are called shunts. And this is quite a confusing diagram, but just taking a second to get used to it, I think helps. Question 31 says, which of one to five are the shunts that normally close at birth? Okay, so looking at um, the ones that we've been given here. So number one is a linkage between the right atrium and the left atrium. So that is one that would normally close at birth. Um, that would, in the fetus serve to move deoxygenated blood from the right hand side of the heart to the left hand side of the heart. So that means that it is one that um, closes at birth. So 31, figure one does. Um, if we look at number two, that is just the, the pulmonary artery carrying blood away from the right ventricle towards the lungs. That's not going to close at birth. Um, number three is the pulmonary vein which carries oxygen from the lungs to the left atrium, so that's not going to close at birth. And number four is at the top here, and it's going from the left ventricle out to the tissues. Um, that is not going to close at birth either. And then number five is something that is a bypass from the pulmonary artery through into the aorta again carrying deoxygenated blood back into the systemic circulation. So it's one and five which close at birth. I mean, the answer is going to be B. 32 then, um, let's go through all the different answers. It says blood flow into the right atrium is greater than the blood flow or is equal to the blood flow out of the left ventricle. Um, so into the right atrium, we are told that, and of course we're gonna be looking at the input here, if we if we look at these red ones, we can't actually tell um, what the input would be, but we can see that coming immediately out of the, the right atrium, um, there's going to be sort of 46% of the blood flow out. Um, so that gives you an idea of what's going into the right atrium. Obviously, it's not going to be less than that. Um, and blood obviously then also moves into the right ventricle. So we've got 46 and 42 here, and then we can add that up and we get uh, 98 going in here. And is that equal to the blood flow out of the left ventricle? Well, out of the left ventricle, it's actually 58 instead. Um, so it's not going to be A. What about B? B says into the right atrium is greater than the blood flow out of the left ventricle. So we've just worked that out and we know that is the case. The answer for this one is B. Through all the other two, let's look at C. It says blood flow through the inferior, inferior vena cava is equal to blood through, flow through the superior vena cava. They're both unknowns and from the information that we've got now, um, we wouldn't be able to say that that's true. C says through the I oh, sorry D says through the inferior vena cava is less than the blood flow through the superior vena cava. So again, we can't say that. Um, so the answer for this one is definitely B. Thirty three says which of the following best estimates for the oxygen saturation in the systemic arteries? So that's down here, and of course that's the question mark beside it. So that makes it a little bit tougher. Um, if we're looking for the oxygen saturation, remember these are the numbers in green. We've got two, if we start looking upstream, we've got two different blood supplies here. Um, we've got this one and we've got this one. So if 
the oxygen supply at this one is going to be 62 and this one's going to be 52. We know that the value of the oxygen saturation down here is going to be between 52 and 62. So out of the answers we've been given, which one falls within that range? And the answer for 33 then is obviously going to be 58%, which is C. And finally, question 34 says, what percentage of the combined ventricular output flows through four? So point four, um, this is a little bit tricky, but point four is at the top here. And obviously you've got a question mark before, and we know that the output is gonna be less than 58% because it's being split up here. So let's assume that all of, so we, let's keep working downstream. So we know that there's going to be 73 here, um, and there's 30 here that contributes to that. So that means that we've got 43 coming from here. If we take um, 43 away from 58, that gives us 15 going in this direction. So there's 58, 15 of which goes up here and 43 goes down here. And that's how we end up with 73 at the bottom. So it's just about working backwards then. And that gives us an answer of 15% um, of the CVO going through 0.4 up here. And that gives us an answer B for 34. So that was questions 31 to 34. I hope that helped. Thanks for